Joe Biden's White House is currently trying to change the definition of recession, and a lot of their media allies are trying to help. Can you believe that? I can, because most of the news and Democrat Party seem to always work together like communist and state-run media. They've literally changed the definition of VAX, they changed the definition of a woman, and now, to save their own ass, they're trying to change the definition of recession. The White House even put out a memo on their official website, really trying hard to save face and change the definition of an actual economic term. But we're not going to let them get away with it. The definition is extremely simple. It's a decline in overall economic activity, which is historically identified by two consecutive quarters of negative GDP growth. That's how it's always been. That's how it still is around the world. But as of July 2020 in the USA, apparently things are changing. Listen to Biden's Secretary of Treasury Janet Yellen explain how the USA is in a recession, but therefore not in a recession at all. A common definition of recession is two negative quarters of GDP growth, or at least that's something that's been true in past recessions. When we've seen that, mm -hmm. there has usually been a recession. And many economists uh, expect second quarter GDP to be negative. First quarter GDP was negative. So we could see that happen, and that will be closely watched. But I do want to emphasize what a recession really means is a broad-based contraction yeah. in the economy. And even if that number is negative, we are not in a recession now. And um, I, I would you know, warn that we should be um, not, not characterizing that as a recession. I understand that, but you're splitting hairs. I mean, if the technical definition is two quarters of contraction, you're saying that's not a recession? That's not the, te no. that's not the technical definition definition of recession is two negative quarters of GDP growth, or at least that's something that's been true in past recessions. When we've seen that, mm -hmm. there has usually been a recession. What is surprising is that some of the media is actually pushing back against this dystopian definition change tactic. I'll give a rare kudos to Chuck Todd for pressing back on Janet Yellen just a little bit. And even one person on a CNN panel said, hey, you can't fake what's going on. You can't fake this and change the word. But Janet Yellen is so deceitful and clever. She says it's a transition in which growth is slowing. We're in a period of transition in which growth is slowing. Hey, a period of time where growth is slowing is literally a recession. It's not a transition. It's a, it's a transition into a recession is what it is. But they love them T-words. Remember inflation? It's just transitory. There's not going to be any inflation. Boom, they were wrong. Hey, there's not a recession. It's just a transition. Boom, you're going to be wrong. Okay? You want to say transitory? You want to say transition? No, we have inflation and a recession. You put that together, we get a new word called, not a new word, but an old familiar word called stagflation, coming from the Biden administration. So, Buckle up, America. Buckle up to the world. Uh, we have a video that we released a while ago predicting this recession and kind of explaining a little bit about why it's going on. Be sure to check that out. Also, be sure to give us a subscribe, a follow, depending on where you're watching. Like, comment, share. I am D'Angelo with Macro Freedom. We follow the global economy and fight for freedom and finances all around the world. Thank you.